The National Population Commission has identified two compelling reasons that led to the postponement of the 2023 census in the country. Speaking at a one-day breakfast interactive media session in Benin City, the state capital of Edo, the federal commissioner said the commission had prepared to conduct the 2023 census before it was postponed indefinitely. He however sued for patience. On his part, the chairman of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Edo State Chap Council, uh, Comrade Festus Alain Kerr, said census is key to human development, urging the commission to provide information on the new date for the conduct of the aborted census to build trust. The, about a month or two ago, we had a, this kind of breakfast meeting in Abuja where the chairman highlighted the reasons for postponement, mainly because of uh, the challenge from the weather. You cannot do census in uh, during rainy season. When half of the country, a session of Nigeria was into rainy season, it was impossible to continue. That was one of the reasons we necessarily had to postpone. And uh, the economic government that was just by the corner, we wanted to get their buy-in into what we are doing because they are the people who will now inherit the data we generate and they will use it for planning. It, it made sense to, to do so. I also want to please say that um, we, in the journalism profession, will continue to collaborate with the NPC. It's our responsibility because we are partners in progress. If there is defect anywhere, the media will also be called upon to use their media space to do the corruption. And if it's also going well, it's also our responsibility to write that it's going well. But I would like to advise that at the national level, it's better to take a date soon so that every mind of Nigeria should now be ready for the forthcoming census. Because we are just hoping that it will come soon, but people are like, when is it coming up? So I would like to advise that there should be a specific date very soon. Other speakers at the occasion gave an overview of their level of preparedness in a Edo state. Is this year, the methodology we adopted for the this census, as far as the map making is concerned, is a complete deviation from the traditional cartography method we all know of. We've gone digital because the commission is aiming and is have prepared for a paperless census. So the cartography department cannot be an exception. So we also go digital. We now move our map production technology and methodology from the traditional cartography method we are used to, to digital. In 2023 census, I want to let us know that this is going to be the first digital census in Nigeria. And Edo State is not left out. Who agree with us that in, 20 to, in 2006, what we had was paper census, where you see the population people carrying paper, shading when they come to your house. But this time around, we are going to go digital, we have already gone digital. The National Population Commission, we are not only engaged in census, we also do registration of birth, death, stillbirth, and the likes. So what you may want to know, in Nigeria, the law on the registration of these events is at 69 of 1992, otherwise known as the Birth, Death, ETC Compulsory Registration Act. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.